Okay, now if you take a look at the guitar body, you can see, okay, it looks 100% better and it looks 100% nicer, okay, just by sanding it down. I was going to go ahead and give it that uh, Jeff Beck uh, cutaway Esquire look right here, but you know the situation we have is this is a very thin body guitar, okay? Uh, I believe PV did it that way to cut down on the weight, okay? This body only weighs, I don't even know how much, but it's super light, okay? I'd say it weighs probably two pounds, maybe, okay? Two and a half pounds, if that, all right? Maybe a pound and a half. But this thing, what I did, I sanded it down, like I said, with my uh, block, okay? After I de ate all that crap off it, I went ahead and did it with my block. You can see how smooth it is just by looking at it, okay? And then I came back, and I sanded it with 180, uh, with 80 grit, 180 grit, and 320, okay? That's all dry sandpaper, and uh, this is what we have, all right? Uh, this is ready to go into the uh, paint booth, okay, and get some paint on it. But hold on, we're not done yet. I was telling you about Clorox. I was telling you that I was going to bleach this wood, but you know what? This wood is so clean that it doesn't need bleached. A lot of times if it has a stain on it, okay, if your guitar is stained, okay, instead of painted, what you want to do is you want to take some Clorox with some steel wool, some fine steel wool, and you want to Clorox that wood down. And what that does, that bleaches that wood and pulls out all of the impurities that are inside it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hang that in the paint booth, okay, and we're going to go ahead and clean it off with alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is all we're going to need on that and that's what we're going to use. Alright, what we got? We got our guitar hanging up, okay, ready for paint. Now, we just got done sanding it all down. I went through all those procedures with you. If you missed the procedures, go back and look at this series and see what the situation is. Because before you fuck your guitar up, maybe you better learn how to fucking do it, pal. I got some cheap, inexpensive rubbing alcohol. Okay, now what this rubbing alcohol is going to do, this is going to clean our wood for us, okay? I got me a lint-free, tack-free towel. This is called a white ball. This is specifically designed for painting. It's not a white ball that you go buy at AutoZone. It's not white balls that you use for transmissions, okay, or for grease, okay. These are specific lint-free, tack-free, white ball brand rags, okay, uh, that I use at my shop, my custom automotive car shop, okay. And I saturate my rag with rubbing alcohol, just like you see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wipe it down. And this is going to take all the imperfection, all the impurities out, such as uh, grease and slime and anything that might be left on it. There shouldn't be anything in it, but uh, if there is grease in my hands or if we didn't sand something out that, you know, we should have, the alcohol will uh, extract that uh, content out of your fucking guitar. Very important to use rubbing alcohol on it. It's very important to make sure that you wipe it down thoroughly. It's very important that you blow the guitar off. It's very important that you sand it properly. It's very important that you strip the guitar properly. It's very important to pay fucking attention so you can do it right. Isn't that what this is all about? Isn't that why you're watching this? So you can learn how to do it the proper way? Then pay attention so you can, okay? I am taking my time out to teach you, sir, okay? I don't fucking need this. I don't need to do this. You want to leave a shitty ass fucking comment? You want to tell my friend Pete I'm a dipshit? You want to tell my friend Pete I'm a fucking asshole? Then do it, okay? Just go back when you get done with this video. Just take some knowledge with you that now you know how to do it. And get her done. And do it right. I'll make sure I get all my... Okay, how y'all doing again? Hey, I, I just got out of the paint booth. I'm out here now. I'm out of my paint table, okay? And uh, what we got now, I'm going to let y'all in on a secret. I own an automotive repair shop. I own an automotive collision, custom automotive, uh, custom building custom painting, custom rotisserie concourse restoration style shop here, okay? If 
If you want to check some of the hot rod stuff out, the custom car stuff, uh, the life and times of my friend Pete, your friend Pete, go to YouTube channel SWRNC and you can see all that over there. Right now we're at 522 DR Wagon and we're fucking refinishing guitars and we're fucking rocking and rolling, kicking it in, showing you how to do it. What do I got over here? What is this? Okay, all the materials that I use when I paint a guitar are automotive materials, automotive paint and body shop supplies. Why? Because I own a uh, paint and body shop. But let me give you a little history. Let me give you a little history on uh, 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 guitar painting. Okay, let's go back to uh, the good old days when guitars first came out, when when the big corporations stick it in your fucking ass, thank you very much, vendor, okay, uh, you know, mass quantity produced their guitars. What did they use to paint their guitars? What did they use? They used automotive paint. They used lacquer base automotive paint. A matter of fact, okay, they got their colors from the automobiles of the era. And what I'm saying is back in the, uh, the 50s when Fender uh, Stratocasters, Telecasters, Esquires, all this other fucking shit came out, they would uh, rely Okay, they would rely on the automotive uh, industry color chip book to paint their guitars. So the paint that they actually used was automotive paint. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, that's back in the 50s, they used lacquer. Of course, they had a lacquer uh, clear coat that they put on a tube. Okay, some cellulite, uh, locky bocky shit fucking lacquer crap. I don't know what it was, I don't give a fuck. Okay, if you want to get so boutique about it and so fucking intricate, they go buy the piece of shit, okay? So, back to the story. I'm sorry, I got a little loud with you. I didn't mean to, okay? Leave a bad comment. Tell everybody I'm an asshole. I don't give a fuck. But, uh, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to use uh, automotive paints. Now, I did take that very thick uh, sealer off. I still don't fucking know the name of it. And if I put it in there, then I already showed you because... We're actually filming this before I make the video, so whatever the fuck the name of that crap was, it's a clear sealer that seals the wood, and so it's a nice, even finish. It's a sealer, okay? But I'm gonna use an automotive sealer. Now, I've already pre-mixed this, okay? This is an automotive sealer. It's called epoxy primer, okay? It's an epoxy primer, okay, sealer. This is gray. And when you use an epoxy primer such as this as a sealer, you need to mix it up Okay, once you uh, put your activator, your hardener in it, whatever, okay, because it's a two-part type uh, uh, sealer, primer, you have to let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes for it to activate. So it's very important to always read all of the instructions and all of the uh, literature that you can find on the paints that you are using because I'd hate to see you, okay, the rock and roll, acid funk, uh, blues, punk, rock, guitar player guy out there. Fuck your beautiful guitar up. Because you're not paying attention. Back to the story. I'm sorry, I got a little loud with you. I didn't mean to, okay? Leave a bad comment. Tell everybody I'm an asshole. I don't give a fuck. But, uh, okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use uh, automotive paints. Now, I did take that very thick uh, sealer off. I still don't fucking know the name of it. And if I put it in there, then I already showed you because we're actually filming this before I make the video, so... Whatever the fucking name of that crap was, it's a clear sealer that seals the wood and so it's a nice, even finish. It's a sealer, okay? But I'm gonna use an automotive sealer. Now, I've already pre-mixed this, okay? This is an automotive sealer. It's called epoxy primer, okay? It's an epoxy primer. Okay, sealer, this is gray. And when you use an epoxy primer such as this as a sealer, you need to mix it up, okay? Once you uh, put your activator, your hardener in it, whatever, okay? Because it's a two-part type uh, uh, sealer, primer. You have to let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes for it to activate. So it's very important to always read all of the instructions and all of the uh, literature that you can find on the paints that you are using because I'd hate to see you, okay, the rock and roll, acid, funk, uh, blues, punk, rock, guitar player guy out there, fuck your beautiful guitar up, because you're not paying attention. Okay, uh, I got my sealer mixed up, I got my spray gun ready. What I'm gonna do, I got my 
got my mask on for safety precaution. I'm going to go ahead and put one full wet coat of sealer on my uh, control body. I'll let that dry. Then we'll come back, paint the black, we'll put the pearl on, then we'll clear coat it. Stay here. We'll be right back. Let's see what it looks like in gray for us. All right, here we go. Thank you, fucking gray. School with all the solutions that we can give you. DIY Auto School. My friend Pete's showing you how to do it right. Do it tight and do it the way that it should be done. A DIY Auto School. My name's Sammy Salami, straight out of Miami, and I love it every minute of it, you fucking bastards. Well, my God, son, bitch, I've told you about 76 times now. DIY Auto School. Be there or be square. I'm not saying it again. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I want to go. I got a lot of editing to do. This is Sam Salami straight out of Miami. Love it every minute of it. See you over at DIY Auto School. YouTube channel, DIY Auto School, you cocksuckers. <laughs>